हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल माई नेम इज अशोक दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ एपेक्स फंडामेंटल सीरीज वेर इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सेट्स एंड प्रैक्टिकली कवर्ड ऑल द सेट मेथड्स विद एग्जाम्पल्स एंड टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट लास्ट एंड इम्पोर्टेंट टाइप ऑफ कलेक्शन दैट इज मैप एंड विल ऑल्सो कवर ऑल द मैप मैथड्स विद प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल्स एंड दिस इज मोस्टली यूज कलेक्शन इन रियल टाइम एप्लीकेशन वाइल इम्प्लीमेंटिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स रिक्वायरमेंट्स इन ट्रिगर्स और क्लासेज and it is quite complex as well as compared to list or set so in this video i will try to explain it in very simple way so you can get it easily but for that please continue this video till the end okay so let's start with the map definition and understand what actually map is so we can say in apex map is the type of unordered collection that stores data into key value pairs and where each key will be unique and values can be duplicate which means if you want to store combination of two values in single container then map can be used over there for example let's say we want to store student name and their roll numbers together so here we can consider roll numbers as a key and student's name as value because as we have discussed in map key will be unique and value can be duplicate so here in our case also multiple students can have same name like this ajay but their roll numbers will be unique like here for first ajay roll number is 2 and for second ajay roll number is 3 right so this was just only one example but map can be used in many situations like let's say you want to store account id and account name or you want to store currency code or currency name or you can use map anywhere where you want to store combination or pair of two values okay and as like said map is also an ordered collection which means data can be stored at any position in memory so we can't use index to individually access those values again right so if you want to store only single set of values like names and values can be duplicate then we can use list collection in apex and if you want values should be unique then we should use set and if you want to store combination or pair of two values then we should use map in apex okay and now let's see how we can create new map in apex so now if we talk about syntax then first we need to write map then in angel brackets we need to provide two data types y2 because as we have discussed set is the combination of key value pairs so first data type will be for key and second for value so for key and value individually we can define data type so in our previous example we were having roll number as key so we can have integer data type for key and we were storing student's name as value so we can have string data type for value here but as per our requirement we can use any kind of data type here which apex supports like primitive collection as object enums and user defined data types as well and after data types we need to provide name and using new keyword this is how we can initialize map right so using this syntax we can declare any kind of map in apex and now let's see some examples how we can declare map with different kind of data types using the same syntax so first we have declared a student map which will contain integer as key and string as value and second example we have to store currency data i mean currency code and currency name and both will be type of string and third example is related to as objects like how we can store record id as key and salesforce record as value so as per this example we can store account id as key account record as value and this is the example of how we can use list as data type in map right so this is how we can use any kind of data type here to declare a map in key and value and now let's open our developer console and practically see how to declare and use map in apex and here let's open execute anonymous window and now here let's declare a student map to store roll number and student name so as per syntax first we need to write map then in angel brackets first we need to provide data type for key to store roll number which will be integer and then we need to provide data type for value and for a student name data type will be string and then we need to give name so let's call it students so this is how we can declare simple map variable but as of now this will be null because we haven't assigned memory till now it means as of now we won't be able to add or remove any item in this map because memory address is not assigned to this variable as of now so to assign memory we need to initialize it using new keyword so let's write new 
then again map and data types okay so this is how we have declared a student's map which can store integer as key and a string as value so as of now in memory it contains zero elements because we haven't added anything into this so now let's understand how we can add items or elements in map so first and very basic we have using constructor so while declaring or initializing the map if you already know items that need to be added we can also add items in single statement so let me show you that here so while initialization if you want to add items as well then instead of parentheses we need to add curly braces and under these curly braces we need to pass items as key value pairs so in our case for first student let's say we have role number one and name is ansul so first we need to pass key that is one and then we need to write equals and then greater than sign it seems like arrow so after this arrow we can provide value for this key so in our case that will be ansul right so this is the one item we have added in map now let's say you want to add more items then you just need to put comma and need to pass value in same way okay and now let's print this map into debug logs and verify that items added or not all right now you can see two items here with key and value so this is how using constructor we can add new items in map while initialization only but now let's say after initialization we want to add more items then in that case we can use put method So here first we need to write map name that is students in our case then we need to write dot put and here we need to pass two parameters first is key and another one is value so let's pass three as key and again as a as name and now let's run this code again and see what it will print all right now we can see three items here and ajay is twice here which means we can have duplicate values in map right and now let's try to add duplicate key as well i mean let's try to add three again with one more put method and let's change value to ravi and execute again all right still we can see three items here and only one with key three which means we can't add duplicate key in map but we can add duplicate values and now here if you'll notice then against key three value has been modified to ravi which means map contains lastly added value against a key like here first we added ajay then we were trying to add ravi as well but apex modified the value for same key instead of adding new okay so if you have a requirement to update value for any key then this is how we can update using same put method so using put method we can add one value at a time in map but now let's say we have a requirement to add multiple values from another map or as objects array then in that case we can use put all method so here again first we need to write map name that is students then put all and here we can provide another map or as objects array as input parameter so for now let me create another map and add some items okay so we have declared another map students one which contains two item amit with four roll number and abhinav with five now let's pass this student one map as a input parameter in put all method and execute this code again all right now we can see five values here which means we have added multiple values in map using put all method right so these are the available ways in apex to add new items in map where first is using constructor so if you want to initialize map and add new items in single statement then you can go with this approach or if you have a requirement to add single single items in map then we can use put method or if you have a requirement to add multiple items from another map or as objects array then we can use put all method okay and now let's see how we can get values from map which are saved against keys 
so if you want to get value of any key from map then we can use get method so now let's say we want to get name of roll number three i mean whatever value we have stored against key three then first we need to write map name that is students then get and here we need to pass key as input parameter so let's pass three here and print this in debug logs all right we can see ravi here which is stored against key three right so this is how using get method we can read value of any key from map and if we'll try to pass invalid key in get method as a input then we will get null value for example i am passing 31 here and now we can see null here right so to get key value we can use get method but now let's say we have a requirement to get all the keys for example let's say we want to get all the roll numbers stored in map then we can use key set method okay so this is the key set method which helps us to get all the keys available in map so now let's execute this code all right now we can see all the keys or roll numbers here so this is how we can use key set method to get all the keys from map but now let's say we have a requirement to read all the stored values from map then we can use values method all right now we can see all the student names or values here which means if we have a requirement to iterate over all the available values in map then we can use values method and get all the values right and now let's learn how we can remove items from map so if you have a requirement to remove single item from map then we can use remove method so here again first we need to write map name then remove and here we need to pass key as input parameter so for example let's say we want to remove ajay from this map which is stored against second key so pass 2 here and print this map again all right now we can't see ajay here which means item has been removed from map right so in case if you have a requirement to remove single item from map then we can use remove method but now let's say we want to remove all the available items from map then we can use clear method all right now we can't see anything here in lastly added log which means all the available items has been removed from map right so these are the available methods in map to perform simple operations with data but now let's see some other important methods as well so let's say we have a requirement to know key is already added or not so to check this we can use contains key method let me show you that in practical here and before that let me comment out this clear method else it will remove all the items and here let's say we want to check roll number one is available or not then we will write student dot contains key and here we can pass any key that we want to check so for example let's pass 5 here and see what it will print we are getting true here why because 5 is available here in map as a key but now let's try with something else like 6 now we can see false here right so if you have a requirement where we want to know key is available or not in map then we can use contains key method and now if you have a requirement to know how many items are stored in that map then we can use size method all right we can see four here this means we have stored four items in our map right so these all are the important methods we have in map and now collectively see these methods again in ppt 
so put method is used to add new item in map and here we need to pass key and value as input parameter and if you have a requirement to add multiple items then we can use put all method and put all method help us to add or copy multiple items from another map or sql queries as well and contents key method help us to know key is available or not in map and if you want to get value stored against any key then we can use get method and key set method will return all the keys are stored in map and values will return all the values stored in map and if you want to remove a specific item from map then we can use remove method and clear method help us to remove all the available items from map and if you want to know does map contains any item or not then we can use is empty method it will return true in case if you have zero items and false if you have at least one item size will return number of items we have in map and clone help us to make duplicate copy of map right so these all are the important methods we have in map so that's it in this video in future videos we will cover more examples related to map and for now if you have any kind of questions or query then do let me know in the comments and also please like and subscribe my youtube channel thank you for watching i will see you in next video